Hi guys, it's Stephanie from Georgie Lou's and I wanted to talk to you about another long lost candy that you guys have been asking a lot of questions about and that's giant tarts. Giant tarts are related to sweet tarts. Sweet tarts were first introduced in 1963 by the Sunline Candy Company out of St. Louis, Missouri and not too long afterwards they introduced something called a giant tart. When it was first introduced, the Giant Tart came one per package, and it was like an oversized sweet tart. The Giant Tart was a half inch thick, single disc, packaged in individual flavors. They were hard like a sweet tart. Sunline was known for making powdered candy, such as Lickamade, which we know is Fun Dip today, and Pixie Sticks. Candy lore seems to say that sweet tarts were developed because parents found the powdered candies to be too messy. So Sunline basically took the powdered candy version and pressed it. That's how sweet tarts first came about. By the mid 1970s, giant tarts had become thinner and they became two in a package. By the mid 1980s, giant tarts were three two of package and were smaller again. In doing research for this video, I found that the last mention of giant tarts that I can find in any American newspaper is 1994. So why did giant tarts disappear? Well, I think it has something to do with the fact that Nestle acquired the Sunline brands in the late 1980s. The only candy on the market today that's similar to those are the Giant Chewy Sweet Tarts. And if we take a look at Giant Chewy Sweet Tarts, this is what they look like. This is grape. Those score lines are meant to make it easier for you to break these apart and eat them because they're a little difficult to eat as big as they are. This is cherry. There's lemon. And then instead of this being lime, this is actually green apple. I'm just gonna break one of these and you can see that's the chewy factor coming in. It doesn't really snap easily, it bends more. They're pretty tart. They're definitely softer than a regular sweet tart. They become granular and almost break apart and dissolve in your mouth. They do have quite a tart punch to them though. So if you're looking for giant tarts, I'm sorry to say that they haven't been made since about the mid 90s and giant chewy sweet tarts are about the best you're gonna get. Honestly, I'm happy to still have those. Ferrero has been eliminating so many great candy products since they acquired the Nestle brands, and I think we should just eat them while we got them. Thanks.